Hi. Hi. What we've been talking about today, like, I remember that feeling when I was really little, and everything seemed just possible. Because so you hadn't watered it down with exposure to life that made you doubt. Well, exposure to like, I just remember feeling like, hi, I'm so happy to see you. And then, and just excitement to be around people. Yeah. And then I think I started to learn that like, when I'm like this, they like me better. And when I'm like this, they don't like me that well. That's hard though, because they're so different from one another. So you stand on your head in all kinds of different ways. Somebody who tries to please everybody doesn't please anybody. Well, I, I've really been trying for a long time to do that, I think. Well, and now I want to know like how to stop. Well, just say to yourself, how's that been working out? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be clear about this. When you are focused in alignment with your inner being and feeling really good and you do that a lot and you hold someone as your object of attention they have the benefit of all of that source energy flooding all over them and it feels good to them but then if you take your attention away and they're dependent upon that then they don't feel so good that's what we call conditional living where you need certain conditions in order to feel good and so as you show yourself that the conditions aren't what rings your bells, it's alignment that rings your bells, then you find yourself capable of finding positive aspects in all kinds of conditions, which broadens your life and gives you more opportunity to have more fun, more co-creation, more exposure to more experience. People who don't know this, that's a lot of people. They want to gather together in clusters that agree with them. And they fool themselves by believing that their cluster does completely agree with them. And while they might have many points of agreement, they're not completely agreed. And then they get their heart broken over and over and over and over. And eventually someone like that feels lost. They just don't know where to go. They move from group to group or relationship to relationship because they're looking for love in all the wrong places. They're looking for a consistent stream of well-being that most humans cannot offer them. Now, you are a person who offers that a lot. Esther had the benefit of hooking up with Jerry, who was tuned in, tapped in, turned on almost all the time. Lovely to be with someone like that, but doesn't prepare you for the rest of the world. Rest of the world is not catering to you or even in alignment with who they are all of the time. So the phrase that resonates the most with people when we get on this track is self-sufficiency. And we talked today about self-interest is a real thing. But in order to really integrate that in a meaningful and useful way, you have to understand who self is. So we're talking about the physical you and the inner being you and the collaboration, coordination, harmony. You can't have it both ways. You can't be someone who calibrates to what everybody else thinks and calibrate to your inner being because most everybody is thinking about what they do not want and your inner being never is going to take sides against anything ever, ever. Your inner being is the ultimate advocate for love and well-being and prosperity and evolution and expansion. And so it's like you would be well soothed and served to decide who am I going to calibrate? People or my inner being. And if you choose your inner being, which you usually do, now you have access to so many wonderful aspects of so many people. And then you're not demanding. They don't come to know you as, oh yeah, I know that person, but I have to jump through so many hoops in order to get along. Instead, when they talk about you, they say, oh yeah, not bothered by stuff, easy to be with, clear-minded all the time. When, when I'm lined up with my inner being, like, and it's been happening more, and like the days kind of unfold, and I'm like, well, this is cool, and then this is cool, and it's just kind of like really 
flowing and it's like being in the and it doesn't mean that you're not the creator because you did step one at another time and source did step two so now you're hanging around mostly in the receiving mode but that doesn't mean you won't still have contrast when I'm in that zone it's like when I when people are, are having like different energies it's like I don't even notice it like it doesn't even come you know that's a good thing what that means if you're not noticing a lot of different things that means you have calibrated sufficiently enough to who you really are that those other frequencies just aren't reaching your receptors but when I am not calibrated well and I'm kind of over here how do I if I'm interacting with someone maybe that just that it's not clicking and maybe they're having a hard day and it just started and I'm starting to feel like drawn into that how do I stop to get back here the best way is to relax and say something like this they don't know whatever's happening they're not asserting into my experience they can't and they're not meaning in other words just give everyone the benefit of the doubt as best you can all the time because you know when you give someone the benefit of the doubt you are the one that receives the benefit that's a win and then as you tune in then they receive the benefit too when Kate was really little before her brother was even born Esther bought her a very pretty bed but she still liked to sleep with her parents so every night she'd start out in her bed and end up in theirs and one night her mother said you know grandma would be really sad if she thought you were not sleeping in that beautiful bed and Kate said grandma's never sad <laughs> and Esther thought isn't that a wonderful way to be known and then she thought wish that it had lasted her whole lifetime because she's seen grandma sad on enough occasions now nah, wrong direction but what we are getting at is that you want to be that person who is tuned in tapped in turned on as best you can and this is the heavy lifting part of that you do it because of the way it feels to you which makes others want to call you selfish and we encourage that if you're not selfish enough to practice yourself into alignment you have very little to give others anyway you're all just sort of fighting it out with each other squabbling over the spoils and nobody's feeling any of their real power you see so you ask a really good question we want to give you a really good answer when you feel less than the good way that you usually feel stop and acknowledge oh my guidance is showing me that I'm a little out of calibration and then just do your best and if you can take the time to figure out what the subject of misalignment is about don't get carried away on that but then point toward what you want and these are the words that will really help you do that quickly am I fussing over an opinion or am I focused on an intention because your opinion might be that person is rude and you'd be right or that person doesn't know what they're doing or that person makes mistakes or that person misunderstands but those are opinions that your inner being doesn't hold because your inner being never pushes against anything so what's your intention your intention is I'd like to find a reason to get along with that person and every person and then you can usually quite easily with most people not all of them most people you can find a positive aspect that when you focus upon it your inner being is already focused upon it and when you do now you're back in sync with your inner being and when you're in sync with your inner being the energy that creates worlds is flowing through you so let's consider a scenario let's say that you were bipping along minding your own business living happily ever after you and your inner being me and my shadow we don't mean that you and your inner being just having a really nice and then you encounter someone that you're working with someone that you're assigned to someone that's having a no good very bad day and they put a wrench in your work somehow and you notice it and you take the hit they yanked your chain they got your goat they rang your bell they did that thing where you don't feel good and you felt it so now you have a decision to make and the decision is do I let what just happened because what just happened was 
you put something new in the vortex, something specific to that person, something specific to that situation. That person just provided, co-created with you an evolved experience that your inner being is already enjoying the pleasure of. Not kidding. So now you have a choice. I can ignore my what just happened expansion or I can taste it. I can see what it is about it that tastes so good by intending. I like to get along with people, be general. No harm was done. Nothing serious going on here. I appreciate the contrasting experience. I appreciate the expansion that just happened. And as you do that and align with your inner being, now think about what just happened. Earlier we said, when you're tuned in, tapped in, turned on, which you just returned to, and you're holding someone as your object of attention and flooding them with that. So think about what just happened. They picked a fight. You felt it. You ask for soothing and solution with your inner being. Your inner being joined forces with you in love and getting along and clarity and humor and balance. And since that person helped you create that, that person is in on that. And that person is likely to like you better than anybody they've ever liked because you rode through that rough time with them. Does that make sense to you? You're having those experiences all day with your family and friends. But the thing that we are wanting to clarify with so many of you, just go for the alignment and leave out the justification. You spend years trying to explain yourself to people that aren't on the wavelength to get you. And the more you try to explain to somebody who isn't getting you, not because they're not good and not because they don't want to, but because you're speaking different vibrational languages or on different radio frequencies, so to speak. Helpful? Yeah. Is there in that frequency space, I do want the folks around me to feel good no matter in, in our interaction, is there like a magic way to exit or just to shift yeah, the dynamic? Yeah. yeah, what it is is I want them to feel as good as their point of resistance will allow them to feel. Don't you set standards on how good they should feel. Yeah. If you don't set standards on how good they feel, if you just see yourself as a soother, as a little better, as a soother, just a little better, as a soother, just a little better, it's like... Esther lives part-time in a building with lots of people who have lots of dogs. And she's aware that some of the dogs already know her and like her. And some of the dogs don't know her and don't want to. And so Esther is very aware of them and lets them decide. She doesn't try to push herself on any of them. She just likes them. She just appreciates them and just lets them be. And that's really good advice for humans too. Just like them and let them be. Don't demand anything of them. But if they want to lick your hand, let them. <laughs> let them do that. But don't shove your hand in their face. They might bite it. And they wouldn't be wrong to do that. Helpful? Awesome. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next